Zarush, and today I'm going to be teaching you about measuring mass. So, let's say you have a feather. Well, first let me just tell you what mass is. So, we have a measurement of mass called grams. Now, grams is that's what I just said, is used for measuring mass. Okay, so let's say we have a feather here. Okay, let's say we have a little feather, and this would, well, it wouldn't weigh anything because I'm not going to say what it weighs yet, but let's say someone picked it up and they said, oh, this is not that massive. This is not massive. Now, you might notice that there's a word in there that we're talking about, and that's the word mass right here. So then, let's say you are hiking on a trail and you see this large large rock called a boulder okay and this would weigh roughly about maybe a thousand grams now a easier way of instead of writing gram you can just write 1000 g that is the abbreviation of grams now no one would be able to pick this up, but they would say that this is very massive. Now there's that word again. Okay, and yeah, you know, we have our boulder and everything right here. Now a better and easier way of writing 1000 grams is some people are scared of big numbers. Now, it's okay to be scared. It's just, like, you shouldn't be. Anyways, easier way of saying that would be one kilogram. So, it's an uppercase K and a G. Let me write that a little bit better. K. Okay. So, what kilogram means is you have the prefix kilo oopsies sorry kilo and then you have your other word which is gram now it doesn't have mass in it doesn't have the word mass in it but what kilo means let's write this in a galaxy pen galaxy color pen. Kilo means 1,000 gram. And pretty much that's just a G, which is this thing right here. So yeah, now let's go for some examples. So I talked about a feather, and now let's talk about a paper clip. So this is my best representation of that. I'm not that good at writing that. So here we have a paper clip. And this would weigh roughly about maybe, sorry, one gram. Okay, then let's get a little bit bigger. Next we have a pencil. So I'm just going to make a quick pencil. Doesn't really matter what it looks like. It's the eraser and that's the tip. Okay, and let's see. We have if we lined up five paper clips, then it would be about five grams. One, two, three, four, five. Which would which is just five times as more than the paper clip. Okay, now let's get a little bit bigger. 
Now, an average kitten, not a fully grown cat, but a kitten, I'm not going to draw that, I'm just going to write it down, is about 200 to 300 grams. Okay? And now, let's get a little, little bit more bigger. Let's say we have a nice big hardcover textbook. That would be mm, about, of course, one kilogram. Let's say it's actually really, really big. Maybe a uh, encyclopedia or yeah, a dictionary. So this would be about one kilogram. Now let's get even bigger. Let's say you're going to go measure a person's mass, and let's say they are let's say they are sixty-seven kilograms. I'm just gonna um, make that number up. So human. Let's write this in blue. Human. He. It is sixty-seven kilograms. Okay. This would be about just. 67,000 grams. Now, no one will be measuring it like this because no one really wants to. Let me write that a little bit upward. 67,000 grams. Now, let's get even bigger. Like, big, big. So, now we have a cow. A cow. I'm going to write this really thick because it's a cow. Okay, so a cow roughly weighs about 700 kilograms. And that's a lot. And converting that into grams, well, that is 700,000 grams. So that's my video about measuring mass. I hope you understood this topic. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And bye.